Danes raise millions of euros in first ever climate telethon. Individuals and companies alike donated about 2.4 million euros to plant almost 1 million trees in the Scandinavian country. The fundraising event was described as the first of its kind to focus on the climate. Here's a summary of the article. The people of Denmark donated about 2.4 million euros for the planting of trees on Saturday, in a telethon described as the world's first to focus on the climate. The fundraising event, which included musical guests and was broadcast on Denmark's public TV channel TV2, aimed at raising 20 million Danish kroner to plant 1 million trees. It's a positive way to inspire people, showing how to make a difference, with a small act to tackle the climate crisis, said Kim Nielsen, founder of the Growing Trees Network Foundation, which is part of the project. It's the first time a charity show has focused on climate issues on TV, it's very exciting, he continued. Recently cities, the Danish Nature Agency and the churches around the country have submitted bids for large and small areas in which they hope to be allowed to plant trees with the help of the donations from the Climate Telethon. In a similar bid to raise awareness and funds for climate-related issues, in 2015, Al Gore organized a live benefit akin to a telethon, a 24-hour streaming show in which musicians were slated to perform at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Five hours into the live benefit, Gore announced that out of solidarity with the French people in the face of the Bataclan and associated attacks, which had taken place during the climate concert, he was suspending the event. This post received a score of 17,583, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That's awesome. Plenty of countries from every corner of Earth seems to be initiating similar tree planting projects lately. Even Asia and Africa, surprisingly enough. An easy change for those who can't afford to donate is using the search browser Ecosia. They use their ad revenues to plant trees in third world countries suffering from deforestation. They even have a mobile app for those without a desktop device. Do they track me like Google? That's enough for me to switch. Allegedly they do not. That's 2.40 euro per tree planted. When I did tree planting in uni, we were paid between 0.06 and 0.13 per tree planted. Does it really cost 2.27 euro to grow a sapling? Maybe in that part of Europe, around here unless it's something exotic it's around 8 cents per sapling for common pine varieties, still less than 50 cents each for most common hardwood and other saplings. This being bulk prices when buying thousands or more, mind, retail prices if you want a dozen will be radically different. We planted over a hundred acres of pines where I live last year, cost $110 per acre and the state reimbursed half that. Danes making their mark. Nervously looks at the Viking boats on the horizon. Look out for the mess container ships with helmets on and armed with cannons. We pay a church tax, you can opt out when you're 18. So them donating is just us donating in the end. I thought Denmark was still on the crone, not the euro. We are, it's converted for the article one think. We switched to the euro a while back but we all agreed not to tell Joth 1908. On the one hand, I think stuff like this is obviously a step in the right direction. On the other hand I really worry that governments, people do the whole let's plant a million trees thing, and then, just declare victory and stop. Like, a million trees is great and all, but actually isn't all that much, and nowhere near what we need to help mitigate climate change. Even if every country in the world planted a billion trees, we'd still be short a trillion trees of what the experts are saying we need. I always wonder what the tree planting approach is whenever we see these kinds of campaigns. Do they take into account biodiversity and ample spacing of trees to help mitigate forest fires? There's a very interesting TED Talk on exactly this topic that is quite fascinating and I recommend having a watch. Given this is spearheaded and organized by Denmark's Nature Conservation Association and the Danish Wildlife Ministry, this was very much taken into account. There were parts of the show dedicated to exactly these types of questions, as a fair few was voicing concerns of these types. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.